Hey guys, Red Llama here. So in this video, we're going to show how to get memory junction temperatures on the Hive OS interface. So you can see here on this rig, which has a bunch of 30 series cards, all of them have GDDR6X memory on them. And we could see the core temperature, but not only just the core, but we could see the memory temperature now on it. And we could see that <laughs> Uh, this 3090 is thermal throttling and the temperature is really high so this is a clear indicator it is overheating on that card so before I get into how I did this I do want to give a shout out to crypto donkey miner who posted a video doing something similar but for lol miner and it shows it in the top portion here which is awesome. Uh, this is really great. Thanks again, Crypto Donkey Miner, for posting your video. What I had done was I wanted to do the same thing, but for but for T Rex Miner instead. And uh, at first, I wasn't really able to get it working. I got a few commands that like showed it, you know, wasn't gonna work. But I had stumbled upon uh, a GitHub, and. This is the location. I'll put a link in the description for this um, this site. But I was looking through here, and uh, there's a script for temperatures for the NVIDIA uh, GPUs as reported for T Rex Miner, G Miner, LOM Miner, and you can put this into Hive OS. And the first command listed here, I tried it. It did not work for me. So <laughs> there's a backup. Uh, in case of problems, I use this one and it worked out pretty well for me. So again, I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to try this. Uh, please do this at your own risk. Don't come to me complaining that I had messed up your GPUs. But this is a good read. Make sure you guys go in depth into this because these they could mess up your cards or your rig. So just be sure you're comfortable doing this. So after that, basically what you have to do is click here. So this is the command I had put in that worked for me. This first one could work, but did not work for me. So you click run. Oh, everything had dropped down. But after you do that, then you need to run the second command, which is this one. And once you click that, then it'll start showing the memory junction temperature on the web interface and it's pretty accurate I believe so it's been a few minutes now and it's it's still showing the memory junction temperature on the web interface and I believe these values are correct oh there you go it goes away so if you find yourself losing it um, Basically, you just have to go back and re-enter the same command over again. Hit refresh or hit F5 on your keyboard a few times until it comes back. If it comes back. Because I'm not even sure if this is going to stick around. Okay, there we go. Just like in the past, there was another way to show the memory junction temperatures, and that was taken off uh, later on. So this this fix could not work in a few weeks, days, hours. So um, yeah, there there you go, guys. It's it's working. I can see it right here. I don't need to go to the um, the shell anymore, and I just have to write. I just have to run the the latest command here to get it showing and again I only had to run this command first and then this one all right guys so that's pretty much it uh, thanks for sticking around watching the video please hit the like button subscribe if you want to see more content like this and I'll see you guys in the next video